So if we move to the SharePoint client, now a lot of people do use Microsoft SharePoint, and this is a way to have a snap into your SharePoint. Again, this is regular SharePoint. Here we have our Zeta docs. If you're not using Zeta docs, let us know about that. That 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 uh, document management becomes no charge with NAV in 2009 and 2013. It's great document management. Here I'm going to go to my information. Now here I'm logged in as Annette Hill, and uh, this is sort of the HR employee self-service, and this just gives you an idea of what you can do with NAV and the SharePoint client. So if I wanted to edit this, so say I got a new address, and I wanted to, from an HR point of view, I just wanted to update my own address. What I did is I just clicked, ed it, clicked edit, and I'm able to edit my, my employee address. And just as simple as that, I enter it in, and I just click close. And what that does, that did, again, remember I did that from the, the SharePoint um, interface because a lot of people have SharePoint deployed as an intranet. And I can just go back as a net, and I'm just going to go back into my, um, actually, I'm going to switch over to my client. I'm going to look at Annette Hill. And you can see that it, in real time, it changed it in my Microsoft Dynamics NAV system. So that's, what the, that's a little bit of a view of the SharePoint client. Again, a lot of people have the SharePoint client. Um, a lot of people have uh, the SharePoint client deployed internally as an intranet. And um, this is a way to be able to give employees maybe self-service. Another thing that we see a lot of clients going to be able to use this for is time entry. So if people have to enter time or expenses, they can do it through this as well. So we got another um, a question. May I use a Safari? May I use Safari with the web client? That's a great question as well. And what NAV has done is they've made the web client available through a lot of different browsers. So I know in the past, Microsoft occasionally has, has been a little bit proprietary. For example, if you're going to do something, you're only going to use it with our browser. Though in this case, they've opened it up and they've written it for, uh, for many, many different browsers. And I think Safari is on there. I'm almost positive Safari is on there because I know it, it come, it's out there for like four or five additional browsers um, uh, in addition to um, Internet Explorer. And, and we are assuming that means you can deploy it to, to Macintosh computers a lot easily than in the past. So again, great question. 